everyone welcome back to mochi's charms it's been a while but today we're back and we're making phone cases i'll be taking you through the process of how i design and list my new products i use procreate for the art and printful for the final product hashtag not sponsored but i really like both of their services all of these products will be on my etsy shop at mochi's charms so please do check it out if you have the time so without further ado let's get started I started out by getting a reference for my design. Today we'll be drawing some dango, onigiri rice triangles, and swiss rolls. These honestly made me hungry just by looking at them. Now it's time to pop in our tunes and start designing. Of course, you can't forget the shaky camera. I started out with the dango. It was a simpler process than the others, so it didn't take as much time. First, I inked and filled in the dango. Then I did some shading and highlighting for a nice finish. All in all, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Round 2, Onigiri. I love onigiri so I was so excited to design this one. For the sketch, I used the symmetry tool on Procreate since I tend to draw kind of crooked. We'll be starting out with a basic rice triangle with a seaweed wrap, but some variations will be drawn later. Here's me inking this onigiri and some real-time footage for a break from boring camera angles. Lastly, some shading and final touches. I love this design and couldn't wait to draw more of it. Now we're on to Swiss rolls. I decided to start with a green tea roll and make some more flavors from there. Halfway through my recording, my cat Olive decided to drop in and say hello right on the table. I inked the Swiss roll with a dark matcha color. And did some texturing after I colored it in. I also realized that I forgot to give it some dimension, so I added depth later. We've got some highlighting and we're done. Next is going to be variations. I started by doing some layering effects. The strawberry sort of looks artificial, but oh well. Then I drew some green tea, strawberries, and chocolate to top it all off. After that, I made a repeating pattern with the Swiss rolls that I could use as prints stickers, or, as you will see in this video, phone cases. And here's where Printful comes in. I use Printful to make a lot of my products. They have a bunch of useful templates, including backpacks, mugs, stickers, and more. I'll be going with a regular iPhone case. All I have to do is set up how I want my pattern to look, adjust the listing and shipping price, and it automatically hooks up to my Etsy shop. They have a ton of different options for what iPhone model you want, and I love how simple the whole process is. After this, it was time to make some variations for my onigiri. I started with making some fish row. The orange turned out pretty nice in contrast to the original rice triangle, though it was a bit of a pain to draw and ink everything. Let me know if you guys have any tips for more efficiency on Procreate, because I absolutely love this app, but haven't even explored half of the features yet. Thank you. 
And here's the final product for the fish row design. Now it's time to move on to a sesame design. I love the splash of green that would work pretty nicely with the orange, though I had some difficulty getting all the sesame seeds in. And finally, a simple plum onigiri. The reason I have all four onigiri on the page is because I thought the pattern would work well with just three, but it turns out it was a little too repetitive, so here I am designing another one. I then made a pattern similar to the one with the Swiss rolls, but simpler since I thought the other one was a little too crowded. I didn't manage to get the footage, but I chose a completely biodegradable phone case for the template. Speaking of which, time for a snobby self promo. As I'm editing this, my mom's friend got this for her birthday, and here's what it looks like. It fits perfectly, so props to Printful there. And finally, it's time for our last pattern, Dango. This one was pretty simple. I arranged the Dango colors and made another repeating pattern. I also made this one into a biodegradable phone case, and I was able to record the footage. That concludes our video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I would love it if you could check out my shop at Mochi's Charms on Etsy, and by the same name on Instagram and Pinterest. Let me know what you thought of this video or any ideas for new patterns in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.